Section 3-1, Transforming Equations. Yes, that's what we're going to do. The objective today is to solve equations using addition and subtraction. Hmm, this is going to be so much fun. I'm excited. So, we're going to solve equations using the addition and subtraction. This is new now. Solving. We've evaluated expressions. Now we're going to solve. We're going to figure out what is unknown. We're, we're cracking the code. We're playing the algebra game. Let's talk about some properties. It's really nice properties of, of the real numbers. Is, um, there's a property of equality for addition. It says that if A, B, and C are re any real numbers, and A is equal to B, then the following is true. That A plus C equals B plus C. And the same thing, C plus A equals C plus B. What? Well, maybe this will make more sense. Um, suppose A is equal to B. Suppose I told you, let, let's, for instance, let's say that, you know, with right, two numbers that are equal, 5. We know 5 equals 5, right? Well, let's see. And let's say that A, A is 5, right? And let's say B is 5. Whoops, I wrote it backwards. Then I can do this. Oh, let's make C equal to 3. Well, A, which is 5, plus 3, will equal 5 plus 3. Yeah, for goodness, of course it's going to stay equal. Right? We have A equal to B. We're adding to two equal things equal numbers. Of course it's still going to be equal. Let's see another one. Suppose I told you that, um, you know, let's say that we knew that A, let's say, um, let's try to let's do a different one here. Let's say um, A x was equal to 3, right? We know that this is these are equal. If x was equal to 3, right, then if I add c, let's, let's say c is equal to 5. If I add 5 to each side, or add c to each side, let's see. Won't x plus 5 equal 8? Well, let's see. We know that x is 3, so is 3 plus 5 equal to 8? Yes. What it's saying is if we start out with two equal things and add the same thing to both sides, if the same number is added to equal numbers, the sums are equal. No, duh. I mean, I think everybody knows that. Now, let's keep moving. Let's give you an example. When would you want to use this? Well, I'm trying to figure out what x is. Now, I know that you can look at this and you're saying, I know that. I know it's definitely 17. But let's, suppose, let's just use properties of equality. Let's use the addition property of equality. Um, we want to get this x. We want to find out what this x is. So we're going to try to get it all alone on one side so I can say x is something. I want to be able to say x is something. So I can, it says, because a, we'll say this whole side is a, equals b, I can add to A any, any number C. So I'm going to add, I'm going to let C be 7 here. So I'm going to add C to both sides. Okay? A is this number. B is this number. Remember, that's a number. I'm going to add 7 to both sides and see what happens. Um, over here, I end up with just X, right? A negative 7 and a positive 7 equals 17. So X is 17. So over here, we have the addition property of equality again. Well, I'm going to add equal things to both sides. Okay, let's see. I want to get all the x's together on one side. Here's the equal sign. Make sure this is very, this is important. Remember, you know where it is. So when you add something on one side, you can do it to the other. So we'll call this for now a, and we'll say this is b. Our, fir, our c is going to be, let's say, 5x. I'm going to add 5x to both sides. That'll be my c. I'm adding 5x. See what happens, right? On this side of the equation, oh, 5x and negative 5x cancel out, I end up with a 2. Over here, I end up with an x plus a negative 7. Sweet! Well, I'm almost done. I can say, we know, probably think about it. Let's do the addition property again. Um, let's see, can I, add a, can I add a positive 7 to both sides? Yeah. I'm going to add a positive 7 here and a positive 7 here. Right? Let's see what happens. So now I'm saying this is A and this is B. Adding a 7, I end up with X equals 9. Let's see if that, that, that should work, right? 9 and negative 7 is 2. Yes. Nice. Just adding same things to both sides because we know they're equal. We'll say this is A, this is B, and we let this was C here. Now we're saying, suppose we know this is equal to this. We'll pretend this number is A, this is B, and here's our new C. Pretty cool, right? Well, there's another property of equality. The subtraction property of equality. It says if A, B, and C are real numbers, it's the same thing. Right? So we know 5 equals 5. So 5 minus some number 3 is going to equal 5 minus 3. Duh. So if the same number subtracted from equal numbers, well, 
the differences are equal. Now that comes directly from the, the addition property. You know that. It has to. I mean, because subtracting is just like adding opposites. So you're adding opposites to both sides. Big deal. So here's an example, right? Here's an example we might want to use. Let's subtract from both sides to solve these. Well, here I'm going to, let's subtract 9 from both sides because they're both equal. Let's see what I end up with. X. Oh, 15 minus 9. Hmm, 6. Yeah, because 6 plus 9 is 15, but I'm using properties to solve these. I'm showing my steps. Here I'm going to say, what can I add to both? What can I, I mean, what can I subtract from both sides? So let's subtract 2x from both sides here. Okay, here I'm saying this number here is A, and we'll say this number over here is B. I don't know what this number is, but it is a number. And they are equal. How do I know it's equal? It says it right there. So I'm going to add my C will be, I mean, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. See what happens. I'm going to transform this equation. I'm changing it to an equivalent equation, to a similar equation. These guys cancel out. I get negative 5 equals um, x plus 8. Almost done. Now I have a equals b. I'm going to subtract c, another c, a new c. Let's see, I subtract c. I get negative, oh man, I hate adding these, 13 equals x. My solution. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I've, even, I've made a slide. I forgot for this. Remember. The subtraction property of equality comes directly from the addition property of equality. This is the same thing as adding a negative c to both sides. So we're both saying the same thing, okay? Remember, equations with the same solutions that are called equivalent equations. So what happens is when we're doing this, when we do these things, add things or subtract things to both sides, we're making equivalent equations. We're not changing the, the, the equation. Here we go. I'm going to transform some equations. We'll talk about transformations. Here are the ones we can do. We can substitute for an equivalent expression in an equation. So, for instance, in here I can substitute. I know what 9 minus 6 is. So I can rewrite this as 4x 9 minus 6 plus 3 equals 3x minus 2 because I know that that's negative 2. I'm substituting it. Addition, transforming by addition, is adding the same stuff. See, watch. I'm going to add 7 to both sides, right? I'm going to end up with 9x equals negative 5. This is equivalent to this, okay? They're equivalent equations. Now I'm going down here, subtracting from the same sides. Look, I'm subtracting 12 from both sides. I'm transforming by subtraction. I, ha I still have an equivalent um, equation, x equals negative 6. Let's talk about building an equation from scratch. Suppose I had this right here. I'm just going to start adding stuff to both sides. Let's add 3 over here. All right? Let's subtract 9. Let's see if I have, I'm going to have an equivalent equation. I have x minus 9 plus 3, which will be, um, let's see, x plus 3, I get x minus 6 on this side. And what do I have over here? 5 and 3 is 8 minus 1 is, uh, 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 oh man, I always forget what that is. Sorry, 8 minus 9. So I have x minus 6 equals negative 1. I have an equivalent equation. I have x minus 6 equals negative 1. I started with inequality, and I added the same stuff. I have a scale. As long as I'm adding or taking the same thing off both sides of this scale, I'm in the I'm in the, I'm money, baby. So let's see. Oh, double check here. Let's, so you can see at the bottom. Well, we'll do it here, right? Do the same thing to both sides. It's minus four, minus four. I end up with x minus four equals negative one. I just did something to both sides. Now I have this equation. Is x still equal to three? Yes, it has the same solution. Three minus four is negative one. I could. Subtract 15 more if I wanted to. Oh, I mean, add 15 now. I oh, see I added a negative 4. Add 15. What do I end up with? X plus 11, right, equals 14. Is X still equal to 3? Yeah, same solution set. And finally, we're going to unbuild this wacky equation. I'm going to combine. Let's do equivalent things, right? 6X and 3X is 9X. 9 and negative 4 is 5. Over here, I have 10x minus 16. Now, let's see. Can I just add stuff to both sides or subtract? Yeah, let's take away 9x from both sides. See what happens. I get x minus 16 equals 5. Nay, hey, let's add 16 to both sides. What happens? I'm still making a I'm doing the same thing to both sides. I get x equals 21. Look at that. Equivalence, baby. You know how to do it, and so do I.